Join me as I uncover the hidden culprits in my kitchen. When managing blood sugar, we often focus on carbs and added sugars, but are protein-rich meals as innocent as they seem? It's time to dive deep and tackle this common misconception. Many of us believe that protein, which takes more effort to digest, is free from blame when it comes to blood sugar spikes. After all, it's touted as being great for stabilizing energy levels, aiding in muscle repair, and keeping hunger at bay. But here's the shocker, not all protein is created equal. Some protein sources can be just as sneaky in spiking blood sugar as refined carbohydrates. So why is this happening? It's all about the specific types of amino acids that certain protein sources contain. For instance, meals high in branched-chain amino acids BCAAs, can stimulate insulin resistance, leading to higher blood sugar levels. Yes, even protein can work against you if you're not careful. Step 1. Breakfast, eggs and bacon Let's break down a breakfast classic, eggs and bacon. A protein-packed combo that seems harmless, right? Eggs are a solid choice, but bacon, despite being a savory staple, contains a large amount of BCAAs. This can lead to an insulin spike that throws your blood sugar off balance, especially if you're already insulin resistant. It's hard to believe that your favorite breakfast could be sabotaging your blood sugar control, but there it is. Step 2. Greek yogurt. Not as sweet as you think next up, Greek yogurt. Packed with protein, it's a go-to snack for many. Add in a drizzle of honey and some nuts, and you have a seemingly healthy snack. But beware. The lactose in yogurt combined with the sugars in honey can lead to a quick blood sugar rise. Yes, while the protein in Greek yogurt is beneficial, you might be undoing all the good by pairing it with sugar-heavy toppings. Step 3. Protein powder pitfalls The supplement aisle is packed with protein powders claiming to be the ultimate health booster. But hidden in many of these products are added sugars and artificial sweeteners. These extras can spike blood sugar faster than you realize, especially if you're using protein powder as a post-workout shake or meal replacement. Make sure to check the ingredients list carefully. Step 4. Cured Meats. Watch out for sausages and hand-cured meats like sausage and ham are another hidden danger. While they're high in protein, these meats are also loaded with sodium, preservatives, and unhealthy fats. This can not only disrupt your blood sugar but also elevate other health risks like high blood pressure. In the long run, relying on cured meats for your protein needs might do more harm than good. Step 5. Cooking methods matter, avoid grilling and frying Let's talk about how you cook your proteins. Did you know that grilling or frying chicken and turkey breast can also raise your blood sugar? It's not just about what you eat, but how you prepare it. High heat cooking methods like grilling and frying can alter the proteins in your food, making it harder for your body to process them efficiently. This can lead to a rise in blood sugar, even from seemingly healthy, lean proteins. Switching to gentler cooking methods like steaming or poaching could make a world of difference. Step 6. Be mindful of hidden sugars One key takeaway is that even foods marketed as healthy can contain hidden sugars or preservatives that contribute to blood sugar spikes. Look out for added sugars in unexpected places, like protein bars or shakes, which can undo your efforts to maintain stable blood sugar levels. Opt for whole, unprocessed protein sources wherever possible. Final thoughts today, we've uncovered the unexpected impact of protein-rich meals on blood sugar levels. It turns out that managing blood sugar is more complex than just cutting carbs. By paying attention to protein sources, cooking methods, and hidden ingredients, we can make better choices that support balanced blood sugar. It's time to get informed and make sure our well-intentioned meals aren't working against us. Thanks for joining me in this kitchen exploration. I'd love to hear your thoughts on blood sugar management and which protein-rich foods you're reconsidering. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more insights on healthy eating and nutrition. See you next time. Spiral Notepad Answer When managing blood sugar, it's important to recognize that some protein-rich foods, like bacon, Greek yogurt with added sugars, and certain protein powders, can spike blood sugar levels due to ingredients like BCAAs and hidden sugars. Cooking methods like grilling or frying can also worsen the situation. 
Instead, opt for lower heat cooking methods and avoid processed, sugar-laden protein options to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. Globe Sources 1. Healthline.com 17 Foods to Lower Your Blood Sugar https colon slash slash www.healthline.com slash nutrition slash foods to lower blood sugar 2. mayoclinic.org low carb diet can it help you lose weight https colon slash slash www.mayoclinic.org slash healthy lifestyle weight loss in depth low carb diet art 20045831 3. MerckManuals.com Carbohydrates, Proteins, and Fats Merck Manuals, https colon slash slash www.merckmanuals.com slash home slash disorders of nutrition, overview of nutrition, carbohydrates, proteins and fats hash. Tilde, text equals proteins percent 20 consist percent 20 of percent 20 units percent 20 call. 4. Reddit.com Is this an okay meal prep idea for a person with diabetes? https colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash meal prep slash comments slash 18 pb 0 ye slash is underscore this underscore and underscore okay underscore meal underscore prep underscore idea underscore for underscore a underscore person underscore with slash closing parenthesis. 5. Quora.com If you stop eating carbs, eat only protein and veggies, and exercise, https colon slash slash www.quora.com slash if you stop eating carbs eat only protein and veggies and exercise will you lose fat. 6. Health.harvard.edu Extra protein is a decent dietary choice, but don't overdo it, https colon slash slash www.health.harvard.edu slash blog slash extra protein is a decent dietary choice but don't overdo it 201,305,016,145